Wepa! What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to my latest edition of Wanda Bomb Cooking Channel. And today I'm going to make, I know a lot of people have uh, commented about a mofongo. So today I'm going to make a basic mofongo. Real easy to make. It looks hard, tastes delicious, but it's not. I'm going to go over the shopping list. And again, this, this is one of those recipes that everyone does a little bit differently. You can make it your own. This is the basic that I'm, that I'm giving you right now. So you could just take it and then you could add, subtract, and do uh, what you uh, want with it. So first thing you're going to need is un pelon. So I've had this pelon for a while. This is kind of a family heirloom. Um, I've often um, spoke about my uh, second mom, Miriam, that's out in Florida. Well, this belonged to her mom and then she had it. And when she sold her house, she gave it to me with the agreement that if I ever was to get rid of it, it goes back to her. So I'm gonna be using this family heirloom and um, to make my um, my mofongo. So when you're gonna need that. You're going to need a green plantain. So how many? So I'm gonna make one uh, mofongo. So I'm gonna use one plantain, okay? If you were going to make mult for multiple people, um, I would think um, one per person, or when you get to around four, three nice size ones should feed about four people. Um, if you get like a smaller one, probably one per person would uh, be the ratio that I would work with. If you have extra, then that's beautiful. That means you're having uh, leftovers the next day. So you need a plantain. So garlic, um, you could use a whole garlic and then you could like mix it up in the uh, birong. Um, I use minced garlic because it's a little bit easier. So what we'll do is we'll take some minced garlic and we'll add it in a separate bowl with a little bit of olive oil and it's a little bit of adobo. Again, now you could use salt and pepper, up to you. I'm gonna add a little bit of adobo and a mixture on the side and that will go into the mofongo. And the other ingredients you're gonna need, you're gonna need some fried pork skin. Okay, so you could make, you could do it with fresh pork skin. A lot of people do that way. Or you could just buy uh, um, a bag of fresh pork skin. You're gonna use about, if you wanna make about a serving for four, I would use like about one cup of these. But when you're using like for one, maybe a couple of pieces, you'll, you'll determine when you start um, making it. Now, what's cool about pork skins now, they come flavored. So if you wanted to get like a barbecue pork skin and add that to your mofongo, you could do that. Um, I've seen onion and pepper, uh, onion and garlic uh, pork skin. So there's different varieties of, of flavors for the pork skin. So you could make your, you could add flavor, a different flavor to your mofongo based on the type of pork skin that you buy. Um, the other thing, when you make um, your um, mofongo, I've had it where they had like meat inside or chicken inside or shrimp inside. So once we start to make, put it together, you can add this stuff and then make it into your boil. Okay, your bowl, excuse me. So we're gonna move over to the stove right now. Um, oh, one other trick I wanna show you. When you uh, peel your, getting ready to peel your plantain, which you, an easy way to do it is you could cut off the sides, boom, and then add, Put it in like in a bowl of warm water and let it sit for 10 minutes. This will soften up the skin. And then after 10 minutes, you can take it out, cut your, your three lines and then peel it. And it makes it so much easier. It comes right off. Um, and cutting your, your plantain, you want to cut them about an inch all the way through an inch, an inch, an inch, an inch, and then we're gonna fry those, okay? I'm gonna show you that on the stove in a second, so just stay tuned, and we're gonna head on over to the stove and do a little on the bomb. Okay, before we hit the stove though, I wanna show you um, the plantain. So this has been sitting for about 10 minutes. We we'll move the water over a little bit. So the skin is softened a little bit, so I'm gonna cut my uh, plantain. One, two, and three. 
and then we're going to just take a piece off and we're going to peel it. And you can see how it peels so much more easily when the skin is a little bit wet, when it sits in the warm water for about 10 minutes. It comes off so much easier. And you can do this when you do your guineos. I know when you do the guineos and you do like pasteles or escabeche or stuff like that, you get all, uh, your fingers get all sticky and, and you get that black ink. Well, this will uh, help with that because the skin comes right off, it's nice and easy. Boom, 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 there you go. Then what we want to do is we want to cut up in about, like I said, about an inch. Now, you could add, we're going to reuse the water, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of double to the water. Make it nice uh, and a, a double uh, water instead of salt add your plantains back into the water and let them sit for a couple of minutes now don't remove it from here and start to fry it because anytime you add water to oil boom you know what i'm saying so what you want to do is let it soak and then take a paper towel and then remove them from the water and then pat dry them to get the excess of water out and then you can start to fry them okay now we're going to hit the stove Okay, I have my, uh, the plantains, uh, they're now frying. And when they get nice and golden brown on, on both sides, what you do is you put it in and let it fry for about, I don't know, maybe four or five minutes. And then turn them to the opposite side, turn them over, and then let them also fry for about four, ten, four or five minutes. And then once it's like golden brown all around, then you're, we're ready to rock and roll. Now, as you can see, the it's nice and golden brown on both sides. Yeah, oh man, it looks so good. So now it's time to take them out. And I'm gonna put them on a uh, paper to drain the excess oil. Turn it off. Now I'm gonna let them cool off. Look at that. Oh, look at that, baby. Oh, it's the bomb right there. Okay, we're gonna, we don't want them to cool off. We just want the oil uh, to, to drain. Now we're gonna go back to the counter and put everything together. Okay, so we're gonna put together the uh, mixture. So the first thing we're going to add is we're gonna add some minced garlic. And like I said, you could use whole garlic. You just have to smash it in here and um, you'll be good to go. I like to use the minced garlic, it's a little bit easier. I wanna put about maybe half a teaspoon because it's a single serving. If you wanna have more, make more fungal for multiple people, you would add more. And I'll just add my minced garlic right there. Boom, boom, boom. Add a little bit of some olive oil. Boom, boom, boom. And then you could either add salt and pepper or my personal favorite, adobo. So we're gonna add a little bit of adobo in here. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Okay, so we're gonna mix that up. And we're gonna be adding that to the mofongo. So I'm gonna set that to the side. Now we're gonna operate with the pilong. So first thing we wanna do is we want to add one two, three pieces. And we're gonna do is we're gonna start to smash them up. Boom, boom, boom. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna add a couple of chita hong. Oh, look at that steam from that chita. Oh my goodness, the steam from that. We're gonna smash that up. Then what we wanna do is we wanna add some of the olive oil garlic to that. Smash that up real good. Yeah, oh yeah, baby. That looks good. So we're gonna add the rest of the platano and the rest of the chicharrón. Smash it up a little bit more. 
so it's nice and smashed. Then we want to finish off with the rest of the olive oil, garlic, and our logo. Smash that up real good. All right, cool. So we have the mofongo nice and smashed up. So the next thing we want to do is we want to get our molding. I use a, uh, you get this from the dollar store, the salsa bowls. I like to use that. It works really well. And what I'll do is I'll take all of the mixture out of the uh, pilong and I'll add it into my little round bowl. Okay, got it all out. Cool. Get everything in there. Smash it down a little bit. So we get a nice round shape. All right, cool. Let's use this a little bit. Then we get a nice serving plate. Boom, a perfectly round mofongo. Now, you could stop right here, add uh, whatever you want on there. Like I said, you could add like uh, a, a sauce to, uh, to um, some shrimp or chicken. So, oh, the other thing is you could actually add shrimp or chicken or beef into that. The thing is when you finish smashing it, as you're taking it out, you can put it inside and make a nice ball and put it on the plate. It's perfectly okay. Or you can make it into a sauce. Uh, mofongo is meant to be served with some saucy type of uh, dish. Um, if you had rice and beans, that would be good too. You just pour the, the sauce in there. And if you stopped here, you'll be good to go. But we're gonna do a little boom, boom, boom. So I'm gonna take my little bow here and put a little indentation on the top. Shape it really good. Now, last night I made un pollo guisao. So I took some of the leftovers of the chicken. I'm gonna put it right on top with some carrots and some sauce, some potatoes, just right on top. A little bit of the sauce. Boom, boom, boom. And there you have a delicious mofongo con pollo. And now let's get ready for the Wam the Bomb taste test. Okay, I'm back and it's time for the one, the bomb taste test. Look at that mofongo right there. Ah, oh, look at that. Little mofongo with some chicken. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's not just good. Oh, that's the bomb right there. Mmm. Oh man. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That's so good. Mmm. Oh man. And then, this recipe you can make your own. You have the basis, you can add stuff to it. Mmm. And make it your own. Again, you make a beef stew. Look at my, my recipe, my videos to make pollo guisao. And uh, there's, a, there's a chicken stew and the beef stew. You can make that and instead of serving it with rice, make a nice mofongo, pour it on top, and you'll be good to go. So, mmm. At this time, I want to do my shout outs. My shout out today goes to my friend in Myrtle Beach, James Stevens III, and his lovely wife, Grace, Dr. Grace, here in Myrtle Beach. They uh, own and operate the um, Astro Theater here in Myrtle Beach. The best shows in Myrtle Beach, Astro Theater. Give them a call, uh, tell them why the bomb sent you. I always end my videos with uh, the Word of God. So today I'm sharing from the Book of Galatians. Verse, uh, chapter 6, verse 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the appropriate time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. 
Do not give up whatever you're going through. Do not give up doing good. Do not give up. Do not be discouraged. Continue to do good. Do not give up. God bless you. See you next time in my next video. Look forward to it. Peace and God bless.